Hi everyone, my name is David and in this video I'll be comparing the audio to texts using Voss Cancaldi models in Subtitle Edit versus the audio to text using Whisper in Subtitle Edit 3.6.7, the beta version. Which version or which model is better? Now, I'll say that it depends, but let's see. So, this is the beta version uh, that I'm actually using, so I'll just double click on it to run uh, the subtitle edit beta help check for updates it is see there's no update as of now but let's see about this it's subtitle edit 3.6.7 next uh, uh, beta 4.28 so now I finally got whisper to work uh, but let's begin by getting uh, an audio file let's go for audio file let's go for this one uh, let's click on open uh, it's a 2 minute 30 second file. Now, our first test will be using uh, the VUSK models. So I'll go to video, audio to text, VUSK stroke Caldi. Click on that. If you don't already have the models installed, you'll need to install this. And uh, you may also need to install uh, the LibVosk uh, for this. You can also go to the website to see the different models available. But if you already have the models installed, you can choose from this section, or if you don't have them installed, you can click on these three dots and download uh, the VUSK model for the language that you want to transcribe. Now, I'm going for English, and I believe I have the medium, that is 128 MB. Uh, so what I'll need to do now is just ensure that I use post-processing, line merge, fixed casing, punctuation, and more. And then if I'm satisfied with that, click on generate now it's going to load transcribing audio and it shows you the time remaining uh, for this to be done now uh, just to mention this is that the VSK and uh, Cal and Caldi speech recognition is faster than uh, whisper open AI whisper uh, because I've already tested it uh, it gives you better separation for your subtitles, uh, breakdown of your subtitles than Whisper uh, and seems to be transcribing everything including as, ums, or in this case filler words. Uh, but it's way faster if you're looking for something that uh, will auto-generate subtitles for you. Faster, I believe, the VSK model and the Caldi speech recognition is the way to go. So that's almost done. And it shows you the time so it's already done so if i play this you'll already see that it's already appended uh like hi hi everyone this is david uh, from uh, the beginning so if i play this hi everyone this is david and this is a clarification uh i did this video on how to so that's more or less like a filler word uh but it doesn't uh, do a good thing but now you'll also notice that uh this, I did this video on how to export SRT subtitles in DaVinci Resolve. It says in the Venture Resolve. You'll notice when we use uh, uh, OpenAI Whisper or uh, the audio to text version via Whisper, it picks up everything correctly. It's really, really crazy that it does this. So if we play, keep playing. Port SRT subtitles in DaVinci Resolve. And unfortunately, I mentioned that it's not possible to export. Uh, and so for example, uh, there it actually puts a full stop when I'm not yet done talking. I think that uh, there should be a full stop. There should be none. But that's the VSK stroke Caldi models. Really awesome. Creating quick subtitles shows you how long you have to go. Uh, but I feel Whisper has better quality and takes longer. So let's just go to file, just new. No, I don't want to save the changes. And then go to video, open video, just get the same audio file, testing, and then click on open. It's still the same audio. Uh, and then we go to video, audio to text, whisper, click on that. Uh, and in a previous video, I actually walked you how you can do all this. So uh, hopefully it's understandable for anyone that's trying to run whisper speech recognition. So. You can generate text to uh, text from audio via whisper speech recognition uh, the language models this supports over 100 including if i go down we have swahili and i'll need to test that out and see how it works uh, hopefully it does a good job 
and then you can choose the models. I already have a couple of models available. If you're working with English, choose the versions written uh, .en, .en, .en. Uh, there is no difference between uh, the small and the medium .en, but there is um, probably a difference between the base and the en. Uh, and if you choose the tiny .en, it's faster, but with poorer results. Uh, that is in terms of transcription, punctuation, etc. So I'll go with the base model because it does take some time because I've noticed if you use the base model, it takes almost the same amount of time as your audio file. So once we select that, ensure that we have use post-processing, line merge, fixed casing, punctuation, and more. And then let's click on generate. So it's transcribing audio. Uh, and uh, this is still experimental in subtitle edit 3.6.7 beta. Uh, hopefully it's going to be fully implemented. Uh, and as I mentioned in the previous video, probably Nicolaj can think of how he can just create a transcription tool based on uh, this particular uh, Whisper model. Uh, really, really awesome, a transcription and translation tool, especially if you're working with uh, uh, different languages and you'd like to translate them to uh, English. Uh, hopefully also have a way that you can port this back into uh, subtitle edit or something of that sort, but a free transcription application uh, from uh, Nicolas would be really uh, wel uh, welcome. So this takes about the same time as the the audio length. So that's probably the downside with Whisper is that it takes longer to transcribe uh, your audio to text. But from my own assessment, it has better results than the VOSC or Caldi models. It's It's been trained on over 680,000 hours of multilingual and different things uh, uh, and different accents, etc. So I think it's really, really good in what it does. Uh, also, the other downside is that when it comes to the subtitles that it appends to the video, they're really not in sync, if I may say that. And also, there's no like, uh, it's just like dumping text. Uh, the It doesn't respect, let's say, maybe if you've uh, set a profile of, let's say, a maximum of like 42 characters per line and maybe two uh, two lines, uh, a two-line uh, uh, subtitle, it doesn't respect that. It just hits you with a block of text. As much as there's a break, uh, you'll always see the red lines. I wish it can do better because probably it would be the go-to application for quick subtitling. Uh, uh, but as it is, it's still way, way better than uh, most uh, applications out there. It's doing a really good job, especially when it comes to transcription of audio. So uh, I believe this, uh, we're going to give it a couple of more seconds and see uh, what we get. I don't exactly remember what time it started, uh, but it should be already uh, almost done. Now, we also notice that with this, there's no like uh, time remaining. Uh, as I've mentioned, this is still experimental. I wish we had a time remaining, even if uh, based on the test and whatnot, we already know that it takes almost the same amount of time depending on the model you've chosen. Uh, same amount of time Especially if you're doing the base, it goes with like 2 minutes, 30 seconds, or 3 minutes uh, thereabout. So it'd be awesome to know how much time is remaining before this is done. Uh, because it would uh, be futile if you just stay there. So see what we have here. First of all, we'll notice that Hi Everyone begins way, way before I start speaking. So this is uh, going to give us some synchronization issues. But let's just play it. Hi everyone, this is David, and this is a clarification. Uh, I did this video on how to... So you'll notice that it does a very good job uh, right there uh, from this particular section. Hi everyone, this is David, and this is a clarification. It doesn't transcribe the ah, uh, that is a filler word, so it just ignores it. I did this video on how to export... Ed but now you notice that it just hits us with a block of text. I did this video... And you actually notice that it actually picks up DaVinci Resolve as it should be. So the R should be capital. I just missed that. 30 subtitles in DaVinci Resolve. 
and unfortunately i mentioned that it's not possible to export uh, an srt file or a vtt file separately without rendering the video it's possible so when you listen to that my voice went a little bit slurry but it still picked up the correct thing uh, now that's why i'm saying that uh, whisper is doing a really good job in terms of transcription the only place it's failing at is in the synchronization of the subtitles and probably maybe respecting uh, maybe uh, this uh, probably should do some better splitting of the subtitles uh, to make this automated uh, as as much as it should be uh, but from my own test and comparison this uh, audio text via whisper will give us better results no doubt it's going to be way way better than using the VSK models uh, also based on uh, the research that has been done and based on the input uh, that has been done yeah is it's really going to do uh, a really really good job uh, at all this now yeah you just feel free to test it out uh, so we can just i'll just open up the vint so you'll see the synchronization it begins way way early uh and maybe that shows this is the first time i've used da vinci uh because i needed specifically uh, the subtitling and captioning features and i did not do a deep dive into it but the transcript is really really awesome so it, it does a really really good job especially with the transcription and i think that's a plus uh especially when it comes to transcription you need accurate and especially when you are working with audios that you don't know and i believe i've noticed that you can also do selected lines audio audio to text via whisper so you can actually select a couple of lines especially if you think uh they did not run as uh, you want them to do go to selected lines audio audio to text whisper you see those three lines click on generate and it starts transcribing the audio for those three lines let's see if we are going to get a different result it's done with the first one so uh, this one looks a little bit better uh, let's keep going uh -huh. let's see now we should give us a progress of this uh, but the audio to text for selected lines is working really good shows that uh, there's some progress there but it still seems that it's taking too long it's done with the second one uh, but i still believe that it's going to give us the same same result but this is revolutionary uh, from open ai just letting us have whisper it's done so it's it's just the same same result uh looks really good uh, let's just look at it i'll just open up davinci so now the second time it actually did uh, probably did not give a uh, a good result probably it used the smaller model or what did it use so let's go to mm, selected lines audio it still used the base uh, but gave us a poorer result mm -hmm. control z yes the original one was way better uh, because i believe it did understand the context of what is going on the application being uh, talked about so uh, I know this video has been long, but that's a comparison between uh, the audio to text VSK stroke Caldi and audio to text uh, Whisper. I feel Whisper has better results, but I wish uh, the subtitle uh, synchronization was better and uh, the splitting of the subtitles, at least to save people time and all that. I wish it was better or looked more or less like what we have with VSK. Uh, yeah, so probably each has its own advantages depending on where you're looking at it from uh but i i think whisper in the long run will come out on top that's it from the uh that's my comparison of uh vsk stroke caldi models and whisper in subtitle edit thank you for watching this video and i hope that it's of value to you